G'day everyone, Mark here from Mark and Cars. Welcome back to the channel. A lot of you viewers from my channel will be pretty familiar with this car here. We've uh, you know, done a couple of videos on it in the past, but today I'm here to actually do some photography and filming for an auction house where this car is soon to be auctioned. I'll put the link to the auction below in the video. So, if you got the opportunity, enjoy the video. several iconic cars that come to mind when discussing the greatest race car of all time. Different ways to measure the success of each. Some came on the scene and demolished the opposition, others evolved to success. There are cars used in different types of racing, sports cars, formula cars, NASCARs, rally cars, prototypes through to homologation specials. Some cars just arrive at the right time for the right type of racing in the right livery, the Porsche 917. Initially a very problematic car to drive in its early days of development, especially at high speed, which is a real problem considering it was built with one purpose in mind, win the Le Mans 24 hour. Where high speed in a straight line down the Mulsanne straight could make a big difference in those lap times. In typical Porsche fashion, it tested many aerodynamic solutions. The most successful result was the 917K. The K was for Kurtzek, or short tail. This resulted in more downforce and less drag. Also in typical Porsche fashion, the factory supported several teams for the 1970 Le Mans to increase its chance of winning. The very recognisable livery used on this car of the John Wire Golf Racing Team piloted by Joe Siffert and Brian Redman sadly did not finish the big race in 1970, but the Golf Racing Team went on to dominate the World Sports Car Championship in both 1970 and 1971 before the FIA were forced to change the rules due to the Porsches being virtually unbeatable. This car has been built as a tribute to the 917K of that era. Whilst not powered by the 500 plus horsepower turbocharged flat 12 motor of the era, it is powered by a more modern freshly overhauled 3.6 litre Porsche flat 6 from a 964 911, typically about 300 horsepower which is ample to propel the cars fell 800 odd kilogram down the road. This sort of power to weight ratio is comparable to modern supercars like McLarens, Lamborghinis, etc. Power is sent to the back wheels through a modified Porsche 930 four speed gearbox. Modified to be used in a mid engine configuration as opposed to the rear engine setup of the 930. The chassis of this car also benefits from modern manufacturing techniques. The passenger cell is of monocoque design, so much safer than the original, with a space frame used on the rear for structural integrity and original appearance. The chassis, glass fibre body and suspension components were all supplied by race car replicas of Michigan, USA, and the car assembled here in Geraldton, Western Australia. The finished product is a very accurate representation of the original car in dimensions and aesthetic, whilst taking advantage of a lot of modern safety resulting in a very raw race car feel that can be driven on the road. I'm sure you will agree the outcome is breathtaking and I can only imagine what it must be like to see this car coming up in my rear vision mirror very quickly before overtaking. There'd be very few cars on the road that would demand attention like this one.
this car has actually been really popular on my previous videos of it on my channel. I really appreciate the support if you are watching the video as long as you have. And if you think I've earned it and you haven't already done it, please think about subscribing. If you uh, do have any input, please put it in the comments below. I do like reading them. And um, don't forget to tick the notifications bell for more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Mark and Carl.